Hey guys, welcome to another Trent Show video, and today I'm doing my setup video because I don't feel like I've done one for a while, and I kind of a lot of things have changed since I did one. Um, so yeah, so right behind me is a photo wall of my animals, Marvel, Halo, and me and my missus, as well as our bed. All right, by the back, this is the door. Right here is my collectors, <laughs> my collector bits and bobs. Um, so I will go through these now. So we start from the top. From the top, we got the Halo Five collectors condition of the statue thing, as well as a Finley goggle cup. Uh, as well as a Doctor Who TARDIS, I think it's the massive TARDIS with Matt Sniff, Peter Capaldi and Davis Tennant as action figure of the Origins of the Doctors. We also got um, Halo 5 Master Chief controller stand, I will be getting Halo Infinite one soon. As well as I got a customised Xbox Live uh, controller from the making them control from Xbox, I think at the moment it's temporary offline, but I know, I made that one. Got some couple of Halo figures around. around around on the unit as well as we got some Marvel stuff we got a Deadpool controller stand holding the first seat controller uh, we also have the Finley Saga collector's edition I want to say no, I'm saying right but yeah uh, the shack and shelf down below um, we got the Xbox logo light, PlayStation logo light as well as a Master Chief one and getting this for a Halo Infinite by the theme, I, I could be wrong, but I'm not someone guessing. And we got a silver mass chief, also got this Xbox uh, doll thing, which is ready to play. We got Halo mass chief puppet, got another one of these metal like, maggots mass chief uh, Halo things. We got a Halo 3 mass chief, we got a Halo warhog behind him. We also got Halo 4 mass chief by you. As well as, uh, I just want to say this is a Halo 4 um, Delete. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. Other oh, government in it. Other oh, government. We also got a Ma another Max Chief Maggot thing at the back. We also got, uh, like, again, like figures of uh, Avengers BA as well, but the it's an Xbox logo, we got PlayStation logo. We got some here, another Halo ones in front. Third shelf down below, we got some collected items of Doctor Who. We got the Subman, we got the first human Dalek, we got a Dalek, we got a second Dalek, which is missing bits. But hey, we also got a Ripman Angel in the background, and we also got these uh, limited editions of reboots of the old action figures from the early series, which are pretty cool. Is that the, sh the shelf in that? We got. Um, the boxes of the Duke controllers. We also got the Duke controller the back, which is lying down. We got two Halo 5 controllers with the two Halo 5 stands, a Lego car, a Lego Iron Man toy. Underneath, I haven't started you yet, but we do have some Marvel cards as well as the old fashioned uh, uh, arcade game thing you start in old, old games. And obviously, that's it on the shelves. Um, we got the fish tanks, which I'll be doing at any separate video for the Trent Pet series anyway, so I'm not going to talk about the fish tanks. Um, but yeah, we're going to just skip the fish tanks. Uh, over here, then we got the wardrobe. We got stuff that we basically don't have storage for, so it's just the. We got no fish tanks, no fish tank, a guitar, and the fish equipment uh, behind it. And we got a coffee table with a bunch of shit on it because we were just again no room. On the TV unit, we got the TV itself. We got the sound system with eight speakers. We got one, two, two backgrounds, three, four, five, six, seven, as well as the subwoofer eight and this big speaker number eight and it's nine with the subwoofer as well. Um, we also got the PS4, we got the Xbox One X connected, uh, they're both connected to the TV. Let me just play that as when I'm playing the Series X. Um, 
pretty good console, I could give that. As well as again, when we got these collector, like old fashioned consoles, you don't see much no more. So, we got some again, some other hero figures you hidden around this TV unit, as well as a PlayStation 1, a PS2, uh, Xbox 360 with a controller. That's the Xbox 60 Slim, the biggest act, on the Xbox 360 E, which is basically the slimmer version of the Slim. Good job, Microsoft. And it's supposed to make it look like the original uh, Xbox One, which to me, the original Xbox One look better. Um, on top of the TV unit, we got the original Xbox One box with a Marvel box, as well as uh, another Doctor Who lot of figures which you can fit on the shelf. We also got a Project Scorpio Edition limited box. I think your patient just looks good, and that is my Xbox One box, by the way. So, my Xbox One X is the Project Scorpio Edition. On top, and we got the Halo 5 controllers. They too, too good just to be thrown out. They just look good, so they're always worth to be on top. We also got the Xbox One Delete controller on top of the Series Xbox, and then this is probably like the latest thing, which it, at the moment is just a right Lee, is a Halo Infinite. I want to say Halo Infinite, I could be wrong. It's just like a place where you can store your headphones, go store the games inside, which like I got Call of Duty Cold War. We also got an accessory drawer where you keep our small accessories like headphones and little bits and bobs. Uh, over you, on the PC side of things. We got the Series X itself, we got the game PC which is the HP Polon, we got two something monitors, um, we got this one's a, this one I want to say it's about 19 inch with a bit of curve into it and this one is just a plain flat one which allows split screen. Um, my original plan was to have the Xbox and PC connected to one screen and it, it to me just didn't look right so I said I'd have the Series X connected. The Series X is connected to both the TV screen and the computer screen, the monitor screen, all at the same time uh, with a adapter which converts 4K HDR10 uh, for TVs or does it support it and if TVs doesn't support it I'd maybe downgrade it to 1080p with a separate HDMI port or a separate HDMI out port on the adapter which is to this monitor which does not support 4k or 1080p which still makes the games look great as well as it is also connected to my catcher card my HD catcher card uh, then we got another PS2 another PS1 as well as then we got the original series uh, we got the original crystal Xbox uh, connected for me to do some gameplays on it because I am planning to do some classic old gameplays over on my gaming channel, trying to games. At the top, man, we've got more pictures of my animals be on the side of my team unit. We've got to keep calm and game on, as well as a Halo Reach poster. My camera sets up the, which also right now I'm using the camera that we call this video. And the camera which I'm using is a uh, Panasonic 4K1 and the model is HC VX870. I've been using it for a while, been using it for years. I only record 1080p on you because I only does 4K30. Um, but again, 1080p on you still looks pretty good to me anyway. And I think 1080p quality is still going to be around for a really long time. Um, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, I'm just making some noises. Um, yeah, I think that's all discussed in this video. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys see you in the next video. No idea what the next video is going to be. Uh, but yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.